And we're back in the game with some more Rome Total War at Urbe Condita mod playing as the Gauls. This is our Gallic campaign. Right, last episode we captured the Eternal City. Let's activate our scripts. Now we're trying to finish off the Romans. Right, so we've got a good amount of money, which they have a good amount coming in. Uh, our diplomat is going over to talk to Carthaginians, I believe. I think we got lucky and talked to the Numidians and the Iberians already. But we are going to be uh, uh, bordering Carthaginians. Uh, so we have to decide where we're going. I think we're allied to the Britons and are we allied to the Germans? No, they didn't want an alliance. But uh, their territories are not going to be very well developed. Right. Why are we not getting troops there? We should definitely get troops. Let's get you. Okay, that's an upgrade. Might as well actually pay for something, right? Yeah, pay for something. Archery range, smith, cesspit, I think. Right, decent population there. Decent population here. Okay. Trader, bit of roads. Okay, that's for military, isn't it? But we don't really need military up there at the moment, I don't think. Yep, upgrade there. Upgrade that. Upgrade our defences. We have better defences. The enemy may not consider attacking us. So our money gone. Where can we actually raise our taxes? Very high there. Get away with it there. 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 Now we've got a spy, don't we? There's our spy. That's going to be another nice settlement to capture. Alright. Let's hit the end turn. Oh, that was lucky. What about an alliance? Ah, oh, they accepted it. Okay. So we probably don't need to attack Carthaginians, at least until they turn on us. Do we have any more generals moving around? Nope. Not that, so... What do we do with our diplomats? Have we talked to the Numidians? I'm fairly certain that we have. Because we might just get a ship and sail our diplomat. Yeah, we are allied to the Britons. It's going to be quicker to sail our diplomat. Yeah, we have trade rights with them. And the Iberians, I'm sure. Alright, let's get you to come on back over here. Well, there is a settlement down here, Marseille, or Massilia, that we should try to capture. It is rebel. Or it should have been rebel. Can't see why it would be in the hands of the Romans. Okay, you're a bit happier. Right. You're going to be upgrading next turn, probably. Close in. We'll cancel them if we need to pay for troops. It looks like they pulled back their forces. You have the faction here. It's a faction leader, so that we got a new family member. 
would appear. No, that's a is that our agent? Yes, it's a Roman spy. Yes. Alright, go down there and besiege them. Besieging settlement. Even if we lose that force, I don't mind. Settlement under siege. Right. I do want to capture Capua. Yes. Are they all fully replenished? Down here. They all look like they're fully replenished. Because we can just outproduce them. Moment. March. It looks like we can. Okay. We're getting a discount, are we? On a unit? Yeah, I think this general's getting the discount. Um, 960 for heavy cav, that's a good price. Yes. Got room, but you've already got four cavalry units. Got a lot of missiles. Don't have much in the way of spears, though. Let's see if we'll get a chance to use our armored spearmen. Right, we're out of money there. Yeah, we'll have that diplomat come over. We'll get a ship, probably on an Araminium. Then he can sail down and talk to Macedon and Greeks and Thracia and Dacia. Let's see if we have to have a battle, Capua or Cannae. Nope, they're sailing out. Uh, they look confident, they do outnumber us. But it's a chance to kill off more of their family members and reduce their overall forces. Because we could probably capture Capua with an auto resolve. Yeah, he's getting mercenaries again, isn't he? Alright. Although, we're not very mobile. I say, let's pull back. <laughs> no more moves. Yeah. We'll still probably not win this one, but we have a better chance. They're just going to keep recruiting all the mercenaries they can, because the they can't outproduce us. Yes, we shall try to live. Right, we only have one archer unit. Hmm. We moved to better ground. And try moving forwards, I think. Up to there. But quick. I have to be quick. Alright. Let's use the war band. Try and slow down the enemy. So we've been having a lot of uh, brownouts here because we've had a lot of rain uh, past week. I know there's a lot of flooding in Western Europe, but also a lot of heat waves. Aha, they're trying to actually flank round. But uh, yeah, we lost power yesterday. I anticipate losing power today. Those are actually uh, too late. Send them in there. Are you throwing your javelins? Get those javelins away. Alright. You're not doing much damage to the equities, are you? You are on skirmish. Sometimes the naked fanatics do well, sometimes they don't. Yeah, that unit routed with a uh, hundred and fifty men. Did not do much damage over here. 
Yep. Uh, let's halt. Because we're taking a lot of casualties without doing anything. Yeah. Yep, they're going to be celebrating. I don't know why is with those naked fanatics. Sometimes they're a good sword unit. Other times they don't do any damage at all. Alright, so we do in fact have another chance to win. Take out their faction leader and family member. Possibly gain Capua. So we got slightly beat there. Those Oscans are actually pretty good. I don't normally recruit them in my Rome campaign because they're overpriced. Uh, I think Hastati and Trinkabays are actually cheaper than both of them. Both of those are cheaper. So we're looking at five cav units. Right, and as I said, we don't have much spear units, do we? We're just going to have mainly swords in our front row. So that may not be so good. One more turn and we would have had a good spear unit in there. Armored Spearman. Today right. is a grim day for our enemies. Well, uh, could be a grim day for us. Though we've got a pretty steep slope up here to work with, don't we? Ooh, getting dizzy down there. Alright. It's four Barbarian Cav. No, not amazing, but still. Better than nothing. It's a good amount of archers as well. Right. We have those in our front rank. Because they don't have javelins, but these four do have javelins. Right, take you all, skirmish. See where their reinforcements come in from. Uh -huh, up there. Actually, let's take them out of skirmish mode. Should have very good range firing down on them. Uh, they're going to wait for their reinforcements, aren't they? Well, it looks like. I certainly would. I wouldn't be charging up that hill all by myself. Well, maybe here they come. We've also been transferring all of our Steam games from one hard drive to another, or to an SSD. We were on an SSD to start with. But uh, we ran out of space. But we will now have space for all Total War games, plus mods. It's just been really annoying trying to do that whilst losing power. Right, we're going to have to send perhaps a couple of cav units here. Alright, do your war cry. Ah, uh, you don't have war cry. Right, Oscan mercenaries backed up by Prinkpays. Yeah, probably easier to look at them from over here. They are attacking us. That's the nature of battle. I mean, it does say that they're light infantry, but they perform quite well. Now, uh, should be doing a fair bit of damage. Will we use up our ammunition? We have. Let's charge them. Attack! 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 Alright, how are you doing over here? Trying to push through, aren't you? Into those prink pays. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll probably break fairly soon, but uh You're gonna get reinforcements. Like, we'll put you on skirmish. Runs from the enemy. Why should our warriors fight for an old woman like him? You call an old woman. Your general is in his grave. Alright. Warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Run down those Romans over here. Whilst attacking with everything we've got up here. Slay them. Alright, some of our cavalry has returned. Alright. Who we got coming over there? Some Oscans. Get in there, kill him. It's one of their generals. How are you doing? Killing them all off. Where's that heavy sword unit? One archers, five units of those. We losing units. Say general's bodyguard. All right, come out of uh, guard mode. Again, we've got cavalry that has rallied. Finish off those units. There goes one of the enemy generals. They've got a lot of Prinkapes though, don't they? Alright. Oh, game froze up there for a second. They had a second general somewhere, don't they? Right, we're gonna have to target the Prinker base. Maybe the other general ran off. Oh yeah, we're definitely continuing. Where those patrols? That unit did break, and that's one of the best units that we can actually recruit. Alright, let's use our archers to kill them. Alright, did they get away? Surprised that they broke. They have very heavy infantry. They're still taking casualties. Unless they're getting shot by accident, which they could be. Yeah, we're trying to kill off. Right, stop where you're at. Right, Cav. It's not really many more to run down, is there?
Right, who killed Flavius. Was he the faction leader? We lost Captain Baravendos. We got 97%. There's only 50 remaining, so we may have captured Capua. That's the Barbarian Victory tune there. And if you want to hear just the soundtrack from Rome 1, I suggest you check out a channel called Mercenary Triarii. Uh, I don't know if it's still active, but uh, his videos were very popular. All right. We've claimed Capua. We got a man of the hour. Hopefully, did we get him? No. Uh, not complete. Okay. Yeah, that happens if you have the battle, claim the settlement, and then get the man of the hour. Doesn't always kick in. Right, we've got our agent there. Let's get him into Cane. That's the new faction leader. Valerius Pompeius, are you faction here? Yep. Okay. We should still have movement points, right? Orders. General. Uh, Orders. Well, that should have allowed us to kill him, I think. Right. What do we even need out here? That's some public order. Uh, practice range we'll need. Right, and get those units. I think we'll just retrain all of these. Although, expensive ones we should send back into Rome where they'll be cheaper. So, let's do that. We've got room for two spots. Ah, uh, can't even get to him. Alright, what if we send you down here like that? Alright. Might be able to finish those off. It's disappointing. Alright, go into there. We're now the richest faction, are we? Alright. Yeah, there's some rebels there. Will they have... Ooh, tough units. Units, but that should be a good settlement to have once we take out the Romans. All right, doesn't look like we're going to get those troops back into Rome. So we did a lot of construction. Uh, all right. Put in some better defences there. Got good defence. Let's get in ports there. What else do we need to construct? We've got all this money. We'll put it to some use. Better defences. I'll also make them happier a little bit. Let's try to build up the economy. Should be rolling in money soon. Right, do we have time for one more battle? We're not making much from those settlements, but uh, that's because we're having to kill off a lot of their population. Orders. I mean, if we want, we could merge up those, I guess. Alright. General. Um, General. Actually, kill just them. order resolve those into the ground. We now we got a man of the hour. Alright, so we've got room for five Orders. units. Bring all of those into there. We left you behind, so we can send you over there. Uh, you didn't do well, but I'm going to get another unit. 
Right, also there are druids there. I did want to get in a unit of those, didn't I? Remember from the last episode? Right. Yeah, that's how much. You're saving about 200 by recruiting them in Rome. Right. So, now down to one settlement that we know of. And our allies have done absolutely nothing in this campaign. Is he going to be able to recruit any mercenaries? Let us see. Let us see. What extra troops do we have? None there, none there. We could send those three units. That one, if we drop the taxes, and that'd be four extra units. Seven, eight, nine, ten. They could all come down and garrison Capua. Uh, we are making the money, so it wouldn't matter dropping the taxes in there. That means we could use that whole army to go after Cannae. Alright, Epirus is now starting to move. And we've been blockaded. Right. Diplomats keep moving. We've found some uh, rebels. And now the most advanced. Alright. You got did you get one unit? I think so. Epirate Navy. Right, now they're making a move. We've done all the hard work. Alright. What I'm going to do is Do that. That should be enough to win against what's inside the settlement. Now, we're going to see if we can get another man of the hour. Uh, I was hoping to kill him. So he couldn't recruit anyone. Can you reach him? All right, what I suspect is going to happen is no they're going to give a new family member Captain Nero's army. What I suspect. Hmm, okay. Drop your taxes down. Quite a bit. That in. Alright, let's get another unit of those. So, you are relatively happy. Yeah, they might get another general and recruit mercs. We shall see. Retium, communal farming. Good. Okay, how long to get there? One more turn. How long to get there too, so we'll put in a ship next turn. It only costs 540. And that's where we're going to leave it, because I expect we're going to have the Battle of Cannae at the start of the next episode. So that would be good. Uh, the Emperors might turn on us. It would be a little harder fighting them. We should still be able able to outproduce them if they do come for us. So until next time here on YouTube, thank you all for watching and take care.